In this video, I'm going to show you how you can buy your first Bitcoin with the Crypto.com app. I'll show you two different ways, which is either via bank transfer or credit or debit card. And we'll discuss the advantages and the disadvantages of these options. I've also got a separate tutorial showing you how to withdraw your Bitcoin to an external wallet or how you can sell your Bitcoin back into your local currency. And I'll pop a timeline in the summary below so that you can just jump to specific parts of the tutorial if you wish. For more information on Crypto.com, please check out everybithelps.co.uk. So let's jump in and take a look. And the first thing that we're going to do is deposit our funds via bank transfer. Now, if you don't already have an account with Crypto.com, I've got a link in the summary below that you can use, which will get you up to $25 in cashback. And from the home section of the app, you'll get an idea of which crypto you can buy from within the app. First up, they'll show you some of Crypto.com's favorites, then some of the top gainers. And from here, we're going to transfer and then deposit. Then you'll have the option to deposit crypto or fiat. We're going to be choosing fiat, which essentially allows you to deposit your funds using a bank transfer. You'll then have the option of what type of fiat currency wallet you want to deposit. Now I currently have euros set up as I have actually transferred euros previously, but today I'm going to be transferring GBP. So I'll set up a new currency and choose GBP. But the same process will obviously apply here for any type of currency. And with GBP, this is using the faster payment service and you can transfer up to £250,000 at one time. And you may need to activate your wallet with a few simple steps, which in this case means that I need to provide or confirm my residential address. Once that's complete, your bank transfer account will be ready to use. So if I choose to deposit British pounds again, you'll then be provided with all the bank details that you're going to need to transfer your funds across to. So you'll then need to head across to your online banking app or the banking platform that you use. Then you can add a payee or choose to send your funds to this account. And an important part of this is the unique code or the reference, as this is what essentially matches the two accounts together. And you'll have your own reference number in here to use on your bank transfer that will be unique to you. If it is the first time you're transferring, I'd recommend sending smaller amounts first, just to make sure that you got it all correct. With GBP and faster payments, this is free anyway, so there's no harm in sending a trial amount first, as it won't cost you anything. So I've sent across £50, and it does state here that with GBP, it can take between one and four days to transfer. And initially, I did do this trying to use my Revolut account, but unfortunately, it did fail. And that's because they state that deposits are rejected and returned if they come from a third party, i.e. Revolut. So I then sent my funds from Santander Bank instead, and this actually came across in less than an hour. Although this did go through really quickly for me, if it did take four days, this would really be the drawback of using bank transfers. As if you wanted to buy the dip, for example, when the prices are low, you could potentially miss out whilst waiting for these to go through. And if you're transferring euros, the time frame is two to five working days. If you want to deposit USD, there is an option for USDC bank transfers, where you can deposit USD from your bank account and receive USDC at a one to one ratio. Just be aware though here that it will take an average of three to six business days for the funds to appear in your wallet. And there's also a minimum amount of 500 USDC. So once your funds have been sent across, you'll find them in your Fiat wallet, which you can find under the Accounts tab at the bottom of the screen. So in my Fiat wallet now, you'll see the £50 that I just transferred across. From here, I can then see the deposit transaction showing up underneath too. So let's choose to buy crypto from the top of the screen now. And you can choose from a whole host of cryptos, or you can simply search for one. For the purposes of the tutorial today, I'm going to buy Bitcoin, but the same will apply for any crypto that you decide to choose. So it will then give you the option of how you want to buy your crypto. And there are three options with Crypto.com. You can purchase using a credit card, which we're going to take a look at in a moment, by using existing cryptocurrencies in a wallet and essentially swapping it for Bitcoin. Or you can use your fiat wallet, which is where we have that £50. And you'll then need to select the type of currency that you want to use from within the fiat wallet. 
which in my case is obviously that GBP. Then you can type in the amount of Bitcoin that you'd like to buy, and this is in Bitcoin. Now, if you're not too sure of the conversion, you can usually do a quick Google search for the conversion of GBP to BTC. But I'll be buying the maximum available, which I can do by pressing the max button. If I press buy at the bottom of the screen, I'll then be shown a preview of my order, showing the amount, the rate, the fee which is zero, the method or how I'll be paying and the total cost. And I'll just need to confirm that. And once that's gone through, it will then confirm your purchase and you can tap anywhere on the screen to continue. You'll then see that my fiat wallet balance is now zero. And if we head across to our crypto wallet now, I've got an active balance in Bitcoin. Now, sometimes when you transfer, you will see that the amount is not exactly what you paid. And there's a couple of reasons for this. Firstly, cryptocurrency is very volatile. And for this reason, the price might have changed since we purchased even just a few minutes ago. Secondly, although you're not charged any fees by crypto.com for fiat purchases, there may be a network fee, which is charged by the miners for anything that happens in the world of crypto. Buying with fiat currency is a great choice, but there can be delays in transferring your funds, which isn't ideal if you are in a rush, or like I said, if you wanted to buy the dip. So if you want to buy your crypto instantly instead, you can choose to buy with a credit or a debit card. So let's take a look at how we can do that now. This time, if we head to the Home tab and choose Trade at the top of the screen and Buy. Then search for the crypto that you'd like to buy. And again, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'll be buying Bitcoin. And I've already set up a few cards in here, but you can choose to add a credit or debit card where you'll then need to enter in the card details, the card number, and your first and last name. When you add your card, you'll see a 10 pence authorization hold appear in your statement, but you won't be charged it. Once you've added all the details, you can then add card. Then on the main screen, your card will then show up and you can select it. I'll be using my MasterCard, and so that you're aware, this is actually my Revolut card. So although Crypto.com don't allow bank transfers using Revolut, you can use it for card payments. And again, you'll need to enter in the amount of Bitcoin that you'd like to buy. I want to buy about £50 worth, which at the time of this recording is 0.0012 BTC. If I just confirm that amount, you're then informed that there is a 2.99% card fee, which you need to confirm that you understand is required for every card purchase. So although card payments are instant and very convenient, you do need to pay a fee for this, unlike fiat deposits. Now, this isn't usually a way that we would recommend buying your crypto, but for the purposes of this tutorial, I just want to show you how to do it. And sometimes when you are a new user, they do waive these fees temporarily. So it's worth seeing if they are offering anything when you sign up. And as I said, when you'll sign up, you will also get cash back when you use my link in the summary below. So I'll tick the box and continue where I'll then see a confirmation of my order showing the amount and the fees, etc. And I'm going to confirm. And the green screen will then display confirming my purchase. If I head to the account tab now and under my crypto wallet, my Bitcoin balance is now showing with just over £100 from my two purchases. And your newly purchased Bitcoin is then yours to do with what you wish. You can keep it within the Crypto.com app you can move it and safely store it over on the likes of a hardware wallet, or you can stake it and earn interest on it with rates up to 4.5% with Crypto.com. And I've recently created a tutorial around all the features of Crypto.com if you do want to find out more about them. And as I said, there is a lot more to Crypto.com than just buying or selling crypto. And if you want to find out more, then please check out my series of videos. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks and I'll see you soon.